chickens. entrance is over there but you basically drive in here get dropped off here and this is where you pay for all your plants and then the farms just keep extending on and on and on so um, as you can see there are plants everywhere which is awesome but I think you could probably spend like a whole day here so bring a sunscreen and water how much do you think this one is <laughs> wholesale 270 not bad though for like an office <laughs> These are the famous money plants that you see in Chinese restaurants or any Chinese shops. It's supposed to bring good fortune and money. Look how gorgeous they are. And then the, the trunks are braided. So I'm assuming that these trees are probably really, really old if they're, they've grown this massive. Ooh, these are nice, these rubber plants. These are gorgeous. And these are some nice bad boys. Dark and broody and stormy. Where would you put it? <laughs> some fiddly figs. Man. Right? Damn, look how big these leaves are. Gorgeous. Ooh, these ones are kind of funky. I have no idea what plant this is, but it's gorgeous. It has almost like a brush swiping, a brush painting on it with spots speckled on it. Oh, it is hot, but I am digging their playlist. Spice Girls. Ficus elastica and they have colors of pink. Mm. This is the issue about going to plant places while in Singapore because I won't be able to bring any of these back to the U.S. <laughs> it's what? so Not nice. Back to the US? I can't bring any of these back to the U.S. Uh, I would probably buy all of these and then just leave them in Singapore. But look how gorgeous they are. Give a tour. For cactus aficionados, there's many strange looking cactus. I would say it's very good for a cute whimsical cafe. Just to give you some idea of how much these plants would cost, this is $5.35 Singaporean dollars for the, I'm gonna butcher this, Dracaena reflexa, these guys. Also commonly found at Ikea too. We got all the snake plants. This one's something I've never seen before. Cryptanthus ride. Um, I accidentally touched it and there are ridges on the side and that really shocked me. <laughs> but look at the coloring. It's so beautiful and pink. There's so many of them. They kind of remind me of starfish. We got the famous money plants. Bird. It's kind of sad actually. This is like not really where you should belong. You should be walking around, not in a cage. Oh my god, look at all the cute little cacti. There is really no end to what type of cactus you can get here. Look how many varieties there are. Oh, this one's a little bit funky keeps going. I wonder if they have lithops. Ooh, oh my god. They have string of pearls. I'm sure actually one of the first plants I've ever had growing up. I know. Why did they have to put the string of hearts like right next to the cacti? Yeah? Oh my goodness. Holy shit, wait, I need to show you this one. These little cactus were very, very popular. Look, holy shit, 
the row of cactus just keep going. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, those are pretty good pricing. It reminds me of like a dinosaur stamp or something like that. So nice. That's a creative way of upcycling. So they cut a water bottle um, and I'm pretty sure there's a hole, yeah. They added a hole underneath on the cap and then they strung it up, so. Very awesome way of upcycling. I don't think the plant is for sale though because I don't see a price tag. Ooh, these are gorgeous. I really want to get one. Look how beautiful, like how waxy and green this is. Oh my gosh. Tedescancia round leaf. I'm probably butchering all these names. Oh, these are not bad. Maybe I'll get this one. It's only three twenty-one too, and the coloring on it is really nice. This is cool though. Look, papaya. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Did you know that banana trees can only produce one set of fruit and then they die? Oh really? They have to grow the entire tree again. That's so fruit. sad. Papaya or banana trees die so fast. Oh, look at all these snake plants. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. <gasps> I bet here just like mass buy from here. I know. These are massive ones though. I don't know if this will fit in our house. <laughs> they can find a way to make it fit. I know. Oh, there's more. I would get it for my so house though. Sizes. Yeah. People back in San Francisco would go crazy for these. <laughs> Monstera plants. Look how big. Well, actually, my hands are pretty big in general, but the leaves are massive. Ooh. These are really gorgeous, too. I feel like they're like hanging antler ears. I don't know how to take care of them, but I've seen them in coffee shops all the time. And it's always really gorgeous because they're linked to some sort of board and then they attach themselves onto it and just grow down. I really want to get this plant, but it's, I'm afraid I'm going to snap it or break it. Hmm, these guys, how much are they? They're like, this one's $16, Caladium Hybrid, and it has pink, ooh, that's gorgeous. I don't know, Val, should I get it? I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to break it though. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I don't trust myself to take care of them, but I would definitely want to keep them. Same. I'm like, I'm worried. I don't want to kill it. That's why. Yeah. Uh, I need something hardier. Carmona bonsai S shape. I've actually never have successfully managed to grow a bonsai. And I don't think today is the day. <laughs> but they're still really exquisite little creatures. I wouldn't mind getting one when I'm older and have more time to prune them and take care of them. Uh, <laughs> I've had one back at home. They are very finicky though. No. Yeah, like my cousin had yeah. to take care of it for me and it, di it almost died. And then you water it and then it, it's, it's fine. It's like it wants to live after all. Yeah, exactly right. These are really nice though. I wouldn't mind getting one of these guys. Oh yeah? Wait, what are the memes? Yeah, they always die. And like when, what, a key ledger was preparing for Joker, he kept Kalatia as a pet. That's how he got so angry. Oh, really? What the heck? I mean, it's a joke of course. Yeah. <laughs> the pricing is so good on all of these plants. They're like roughly like 7 to $10. Singaporean dollars. Ooh, this one's nice. <gasps> Kalatia Vitata. <laughs> I'm like butchering all of these things. But this one is probably the best one I've seen so far that I would actually want to bring back home. So I'm going to it's either this one or this one or this one. Oh, there's so many. Hmm. Plant mom duties. <laughs> <laughs> Like this tree are herbs. Uh -huh. Which and ones this are? Tree are like pretty. Okay, this one's a basil. So, no, this is mint. Oh, <laughs> I don't know my herbs. Okay. Mint, mint, sage. It smells sage. really good. And it's what's up mm, all the evil juju on Friday it. 13. Oh, yeah. Friday, happy Friday yeah. the 13th. And, and then this is rosemary. Rosemary. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. What is this? And this is, I don't know, it's just pretty, it's cute. Cool. These you can propagate though. Oh, really? Yeah, these yeah. you can propagate quite easily. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Too. Yeah, this one's gorgeous. So these are all Val's plants, and then these are mine. <laughs> yeah. Holly <laughs> science flowers. Wow, look at the coloring on that. I have no idea what this is, but it's gorgeous. Ooh, and they're flowered too. Begonia Rex. These are really gorgeous too. I contemplated getting one before, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too, too confident in my abilities to keep them alive. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like these before. Kind of remind me of Gushers. And these are Elastica. These look like Kush. <laughs> it is just drizzling right now, really big raindrops, but it's not so bad because it is very refreshing to be honest. Look at this. It kind of reminded me of, I think, like maple leaves, but they flower. Like, look at the coloring of that. It's almost unreal. I've never seen anything like it before. This one too, this is gorgeous. Ah, they're called Hibiscus Isitocella. And they're only $6.42, what the? Ah, there is something so peaceful being at one of these like nursery farms. It's so nice. And I love that there's so many Singaporean people that come out here to buy plants. And I just feel like all of them are naturally born with green thumbs. It's very peaceful, like, I'm pretty sure if you buy in wholesale or in bulk, it's a lot cheaper, but even so, like, if you buy one or two plants, the pricing is already really, really good. 